Welcome to Nareshai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to talk about types of constructors and what are this usages. So, before going to talk about types of constructors, how to call the constructor I am going to be highlighting first. Our concept is how to call how to call the constructor. We can call constructor by using object creation by using what here object creation or how to call or how to invoke and also we can use not a problem how can we call here by using object creation generally we are always writing object for example our class name is our class name is a assume like that and how to create a reference object a and new a new and a now observe here this is new is one keyword which is used to call constructor a new is one keyword which is used to call constructor a this is what uh, without any argument constructor we can call as what uh, zero argument constructor so whenever we writing like this automatically three things are going to be happen one is whenever we writing whenever jvm will see this syntax like new a jvm will going to be do three things one is non static loading phase initialization phase as well as constructor calling nothing but finally constructor is going to be executed so how to call the constructor means by using object creation with the support of a new keyword now for example you may guys having doubt like up to now we uh, develop a lot of programs like uh, class a in the class a i'm writing one uh, one variable writing one variable in the variable i have some uh, in the class a i have one variable a that is non static after that i'm creating an object after that i'm creating an object that object name is a obj equal to no a that object name is obj nothing but we can call as reference now observe guys system dot out dot println system dot out dot println of obj dot a whenever i am executing this program there is no compile time error there is no execution error happily we will get a output like what triple one a valid program but uh, will you please observe in this statement what i mention here i creating an object for which class class a i told you like object creation is nothing but calling or object creation is nothing but calling or invoking the constructor calling or invoking the constructor now what is that constructor a of open and closed parenthesis do you have any that type of syntax in our class no if there is no syntax there is no syntax like constructor like this in our class there is no constructor like this if there is no constructor like this how can you able to call is really constructor is existed or not existed if you understanding this concept we required some basic information to understanding this concept i am introducing one small uh, theoretical points related to inheritance see guys whenever we writing a obj equal to new a internally jvm will calls one constructor like what a of uh, zero argument do you have any constructor in the class a no if there is no zero argument constructor also our program is successfully compiled as well as our program is successfully executed what is the reason behind this one so before going to talk about a fundamental related to inheritance basically this is concept related to inheritance by default we are getting some constructor to our class so how i am going to be uh, getting how this class a will getting the default constructor that we will see in the next video but before uh, that let me develop this program first for example to develop this program i'm taking uh, one taking the uh, one notepad here i'm writing class a in the class a i'm writing int a equal to what triple one after that i'm writing what here public static void main 
public static void mean here I am writing here I am writing string array s here I am writing string array s now after that I am creating an object guys observe I am creating an object here that is what a new a now observe new a is one object whenever we creating whenever we creating or whenever we writing this statement internally constructor will be executed do you have any constructor in the class yeah no already in the first uh, uh, video of constructor concept i told you constructor name is same as class name it is ended with what open and closed parenthesis and in the yesterday video i told you like constructor can uh, have access modifiers like private public protected and default and also it contains a written statement but it doesn't having written statement with value it doesn't carrying any, any information as well as i told you like one of the syntax like we can apply throws keyword also on constructor but uh, i didn't mention any one of those things in our class a that means i didn't write but i'm not writing class a uh, constructor a but still i'm trying to call then what happened programmatical object this is object this is what here object now obj dot a now let me compile this program let me save this one this is what a dot java after that uh, save as type is what all files and let me save it now let me open the command prompt and go to desktop and compiling the program java c a dot java java c a dot java yes comp successfully compile successfully execute and we are getting the output like triple one oh my god there is no constructor but uh, i told you like uh, creating an object nothing but what you are calling the constructor but there is no constructor how the program is compiled and executing if you want to know about these detail details uh, we required some fundamentals of inheritance some internal changes done by the compiler to this dot uh, java file those things we are going to be learning in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe naresite channel thank you